Hello guys, today is a lesson for you who want to create artisan commands, your own artisan commands, and how to implement a progress bar in your artisan command. So for example, for longer command, that for example sends the invoices, so iterates invoice by invoice, and then some progress bar is needed. That is possible in Laravel, and also I will show you what improved in newest version Laravel 8.16. So first, just to recap, if you go to Laravel Documentation Artisan Console, writing commands, and to generate artisan command, you just make a command and everything internal, what happens in the command should be in the method called handle. So that's the default behavior. But if you search for progress bars here, here's what you can do. You can create a progress bar with the amount of steps that you need, then you start, then do for each of your steps, perform some task and advance the bar to the next step and then finish the bar. So I've prepared that code in my demo project. So I have five users in my demo database and I get all of them. Then I create the bar with five steps, five users. Then I start the bar. For each of the user, I log the email that will send the email into Laravel log file. Then I pause for one second just to imitate that it was some longer action. And then I advance to next step. So let's check the Laravel log. It is empty. And let's launch that command. I called it test launch. One second, two seconds, three, four, and five. And finish. And if we look at the log, we have five emails of the users. So this is how you can iterate user by user or invoice by invoice or whatever is your iteration object with the progress bar. But in latest Laravel version 8.16, it became a bit more convenient and shorter. So there is a method called with progress bar now. So instead of doing all of that, I will paste the code, you can do this. So this with progress bar, same things to iterate, and then you receive the value as a callback function argument, and then do whatever you want inside of it. So instead of what, one, two, three, six, eight lines, you have four lines. Let's try it out and comment this one and relaunch the command, actually clear console and launch. Seems like the same result, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 percent. And Laravel log contains five more emails. So this is how you can make progress bar even shorter with the callback function. And a quick tip how to find out all those new things in Laravel newer version, which are released once per week. Subscribe to a newsletter of a tool called Laravel Shift. I've used the tool itself once or twice before, but even if I don't, I found really valuable the things that author JMac is sending every week. So list of the commits and what was changed in the newest version. Of course, you can find that directly on GitHub of Laravel project, but this is a really, really convenient list compiled, much more readable than GitHub itself. So it's pretty hard to find new functions directly here. And also that email may contain more tips on upgrading Laravel versions, which Laravel Shift does, or some general thoughts by the author JMac. Also deals if it's Black Friday like now. And also I recommend to read Laravel documentation. As we speak, Taylor is working on making it even better. He's been tweeting about it for a few weeks, so we can expect something even better now. But it's always fun to find something that you didn't know like this one in some section of the documentation which you haven't read before. That's it for this video. If you want to support my channel and get free videos like this one, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and financially you can support me by using one of two things, our quick admin panel generator for Laravel admin panels, or enroll in one of my courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.